On July 26, 2007, in the early hours of the morning, 17-year-old Hal Hargrave was transporting handicapped bathroom materials to a Las Vegas Home Depot as a favor to his dad. It was a seemingly uneventful morning, but one that would change Hal's life forever. Around 6.30 a.m., Hal swerved to avoid hitting a tire tread in the middle of Interstate 15 and rolled his truck four times. As a result, Hal was diagnosed with a complete C5, C6 spinal cord injury. From this injury and its aftermath, the Be Perfect Foundation was born. Be Perfect was a motto um, that I kind of lived by prior to my accident that came from a movie called Friday Night Lights. Well, I want you to understand something. To me, being perfect is not about that scoreboard out there. It's not about winning. It's about you and your relationship to yourself and your family and your friends. And basically the motto to me um, more or less meant to give everything you have no matter what it is that you're doing. Before his accident, Hal was an aspiring baseball player looking forward to pitching for Long Beach State as a part of his college career. After his accident, Hal's new passion became helping others who had suffered a similar fate. This was uh, a foundation that was um, kind of enticed by me because of people that I had met and encountered and heard their stories and heard their um, kind of shortcomings of financial burdens and heard their terrifying stories of how it had wrecked their life and torn apart their family and monetary left them at a loss for hope and I figured you know what this would be a great entity to help support those with paralysis to just have the means to go to therapy or pay for medical supplies or pay for new wheelchairs or what have you. The foundation is just my passion. You know, it's something I wake up, I, you know, I live and I breathe what it means to be perfect and just give up and give it my all and try to be somebody that um, lives on mission. One of the people Be Perfect has helped is Sharon Lee, who had also had a traumatic experience that left her handicapped. I was a student at UCLA and I fell off of a balcony on the fourth floor and that's how I sustained my spinal cord injury. Um, I'm a C567. The Be Perfect Foundation has allowed Sharon and others who are handicapped due to spinal cord injuries view their disability in a different light. I think a lot of people perceive disability like they see somebody in a wheelchair and they assume that your life is worse because they're like, oh, so sad you're in a wheelchair. But I think the Be Perfect Foundation shines a light on like what people like with disability can do and it kind of normalizes people with disabilities. Hal says the foundation raises money to provide services and supplies to those who cannot afford them. They've raised more than three million dollars since 2007. You know for a fundraiser it's an it's a constant grind to simply go out find the dollars find the donors and find repeat donors find people who find value in what you're doing and not just have it be a one-time give, but have it be a thing where people believe in what you're doing to the point where they're saying, we're gonna be monthly givers, or we're gonna be a large annual giver, or what have you. Over 12,000 people a year become handicapped due to spinal cord injuries. Tanya Slusser, a lead specialist at Project Walk, which is a physical rehabilitation center that partners with Be Perfect, tells us the immediate recovery strategies for these victims. You go into a transitional living program, it kind of teaches you how to live in your chair, um, how to be in your chair, you know, as simple as pushing yourself, or if you have an uh, electric wheelchair, you know, learning how to drive your joystick. Um, so go, you go into a transitional living care program, and then you'll go into outpatient therapy, where mainly you're in your chair and strengthening things that you already have that are strong. Be Perfect, along with Project Walk, do whatever they can to improve a patient's both mental and physical strength. The difference between Project Walk is that we train below the level of injury. Whether you're a quadriplegic, where you're affected from the neck down, or you're a paraplegic, where you're affected from the waist down, we always train below the level of injury, trying to regain function. Tanya finds herself very humbled by her experiences working with her determined patients. Their attitude towards life after their injury um, and their attitude towards their recovery is so astounding. It's something that I don't think I even would have the strength to have after suffering such a chronic injury. Their positivity, their outgoing natures, um, their ability to overcome adversity and get into the 
our Project Block facility day in and day out and work their butts off just to regain a small movement, like being able to feed themselves things that we take for granted so often every days of our life. Um, you know, it's really hopeful. At the end of the day, Hal is eternally grateful for everything that has occurred for his foundation as well as in his own life. There is so much more to my life and so it's been an absolute blessing, you know, as much as people have said that my legs have taken away from who I am, I actually think in many ways it's made me the person who I was supposed to be. To find out more about the Be Perfect Foundation or if you wish to donate or volunteer, visit www.beperfectfoundation.com.